Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with uh, a two box random pack break of Panini Prism draft picks from a fresh case. From a fresh case. This is break 17. Big thanks to these folks right here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to open up that case. We're going to grab two boxes, bust open the two boxes, mark the pack numbers on there, and then we'll randomize numbers and we'll randomize your names and we'll put you together. We'll match you up the pack it's like uh it's like speed dating you're <laughs> gonna hook you up with a pack a random pack and we'll see if you guys kind of get together and see if uh if you like it or not All right. So, there's one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 16. So, how, do we, how, how are we going to do this? Let's, uh, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm just going to generate a number between one and 16. We'll generate two numbers. Boom. Box six. And then we'll generate another number. Box eight. Which is the box on the bottom right here. All right, now let's pop these guys open. We'll number the packs. And then we'll number randomize your names and the pack numbers, and we'll go from there. We were talking a little bit about baseball before. Tice is convinced that there will be a team announced within a few years. A Portland baseball team announced, which is not, not a bad market, I think. There's a great uh, documentary about one of the Portland Independent League teams, I think. It's on Netflix, I think. It's a good documentary. So there is there is there is some uh, baseball roots, some good baseball roots there. But I don't think baseball is going to expand to thirty-two teams, right? I have a hard time believing that'll happen. Maybe it will. I don't know. But it most likely would require it would require a team to move. Rays maybe. Although Rays might have gotten a big TV deal. Mark Adamson was saying Rays may have the worst stadium ever. But I heard it's, like a, it's a, not only that, it's just hard to get to. It's not, it's not where like the, it's not where the Buccaneer Stadium is and it's not where the, uh, the hockey stadium is, right? And those guys seem to fill up the stadiums okay. They seem to do just fine. And I hear that the Rays Stadium is just out of, in the, it's just on the other side of the bay or something like that. So it's hard to get to. So they need to build a stadium that's closer to everybody. Which, which could help solve some problems. All right, now let's roll the dice and let's randomize each list. Five and one, six times. Would Vegas sustain a team? I think that's the, that's the, uh, that's the Raiders experiment. One, two, three, four. If the Raiders do well, then I think NBA won't be too far behind. There's six right there. And then... I mean, baseball will probably be the last team to get there, but NBA first for sure, and then probably baseball. All right, and there's six for the pack numbers. One, 
two, three, there's two, three, four, five, and a one, six times. Five down to one. Um, hi, Jay. No, you know, it doesn't say in the item description. But I think probably next week we'll start sending that stuff out because there'll be some time in between like the Final Four and the Championship. So that'll be a good time to, to kind of take stock of everything and then ship all that stuff out. All right, Mike Bobby, you got five. Patrick with three. Cameron with nine. Patrick K, six and eight. Marlon with 10. Curtis with two. Mike with four. Moody, Last Bob Mojo, seven. And Patrick with pack one. Remember, we do these alphabetically by your first names. Let me print these out, these labels out, and then we will go. Golden Knights, their first year, they did well. I think they're still doing well this year, attendance-wise. The difference with the Golden Knights, I think, is that that's an organic Vegas team. And I think the... So I don't know how well an expansion team would do there unless it had a great... That's why the Raiders are so interesting moving to Vegas because they're not going to change their name because the Raiders brand is such a strong brand. So it's rare that a strongly branded team like the Raiders would be moving, right? And keeping their name when they go there without any previous ties to that city. Like, L, you know, LA is different, but. It's number 17. But I don't know. I think Vegas is definitely a growing market. Tons of suburbs out there. You know, you have guys like Bryce Harper, Chris Bryant, who are from there, Joey Gallo from there. So there's athletes that are, that are growing up and becoming pros out there. So they're going to want to possibly come back to their hometowns and, I don't know, sustain a team or something like that. Who knows? All right, so Cameron Goodman, you are first with pack nine. Just right over here. Good luck. Remember, these orange and purple ones are not numbered, not serial numbered, so I'm just blowing by them. And behind David Johnson is from the Ohio State University, Terry McLaurin. I saw McLaren around zooming around town recently. All right, so there you go. Right, no, yeah, well, you're right, Rich. Yeah, the Raiders do have a history of mo moving around to Oakland, to L.A., back to Oakland, then to Vegas. I don't know. I mean, the Raiders have been bad for so long, but you see people, you see people... That brand is still strong. You see people repping the Raiders all the time. Vegas always talks about how Raiders are still one of the more publicly backed teams. You know, like people still put, dumb Raiders fans like me still put money on those guys. Curtis Gardner, pack two. Here you go, Curtis. Good luck. Jaspie's moving to Vegas. We've actually discussed, we've, we've talked about it. And we've got Andy Isabella. There you go. Tice is saying that as a player, I would not want Vegas as my hometown. Everyone visits there and may not have much of a home field advantage. Actually... Other way around, Tice. Uh, the Las Vegas Golden Knights um, had an incredible home record in their inaugural year on their run to the Stanley Cup Finals. Um, the They call it the Vegas flu, Tice. So guess what? Let's say you're a pro athlete. You're young, healthy, athletic, possibly single, right? Lots of money. You're going to Vegas. 
Maybe you go out the night you, you, you fly into Vegas. Maybe you go out a little bit. Maybe you don't practice as hard. Maybe, you know. So I think there actually is a home field advantage. There's Marlin. Pack 10, Marlin. Good luck. Right. Maybe, maybe they find a stripper. You know, who knows? There's Baker Mayfield. And there's a Johnny Dixon from the Ohio State University. Hit the hit the bunny ranch. I, I think that's a little ways away. You have to go outside of town. There's Johnny Dixon to 99 from the Ohio State University. All right, so that's for you, Marlon. We actually, yeah, so going back to what I was saying to Eric Bailey, we actually did think about, we've talked about going to Vegas. I think we, we like, the, uh, we like the, the, the cool ocean breeze better than the, the hot Vegas summers and the ice cold Vegas winters. It's desert weather, a lot of extremes. All right, Mike Bobby, you're next. Pack five and four, four and five. Together right here. I think Lamar Odom's clean now. I, I, I think that bunny ranch incident kind of woke him up. That's right here, around town. People say he's, say he's clean. Um, I don't think no Vegas won't be into into the stadium until not this year but the year after. So no, they so I don't I'm not sure. Well, I don't, actually don't know what the schedule is going to be. If like what division outside of whatever they you know how they rotate all those divisions. It's John Elway. Behind John Elway is from Louisville, Jalen Smith. One out of 49. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see, like, how, uh, how big, you know, what the fan ratio is going to be at those Raiders games. Because still a lot of Raiders fans here in L.A. And Oakland Raiders fans travel, too. They travel pretty decently. I think there's already a, probably a built-in Raiders population in, in Vegas, too, because of proximity. There's Michael Hardman Jr. from Georgia. So I don't know what that fan ratio is going to be. It'll be interesting. I'm not sure if Jaspies is going to end up in Portland. I, I could go to Portland, I guess. I hear it's nice. I've never been. Seems pleasant enough. All right, Mike, those are your two autographs. Thank you. Patrick Hay, you're next. All right, so Patrick, you have packs three, six, eight, and one. Moody, you have seven. So I'm actually going to do Moody's first. We're going to go out of order really quick. So there's seven Moods. Last Spot Mojo. There's Saquon Barkley. And behind him is Tommy Sweeney Todd from Boston College. The Fighting Eagles, the Eagles, War Eagle, no, that's someone else. <laughs> yeah, Mike Bobby might be related to Ricky Bobby. 
Jaspies in Philly asks Rich. I could see that being more of a possibility than Portland. All right. <laughs> There's Mike, Bobby. No, you have to have heard them. You're being sarcastic, right? Hatcher K, three, six, eight, and one. Three, six, eight, and one. Three, six, eight, and one. He's right back there. All right, Patrick K., good luck. Behind Joe Namath is Drew Sample. The big draft, well, I mean, so far... Obviously, Kyler Murray, Dwayne Haskins, Stephen K are the kind of the bigger names. Some of the other guys in the room may know some other names. Nick Bosa, Joey Bosa's brother, could be a top five pick. This guy, DK Metcalf, big wide receiver, could be a big name. There's Rashad Penny, All-Americans, to 99. There's Juan Thornhill from Virginia. Vanilla Grid, do you think they forgot to put Murray in the boxes? No. I think this is intentional. I really do. Think about it. Why make it easy? There's Adrian Peterson. Yeah, he's probably short printed to 99. And there is OX, the Ox from Old Dominion. Yeah, remember, folks, you know, due to contractual obligations, Panini has to, Panini and the NFLPA and the NFL have agreed to pr print, what, 30, 30 some odd products a year? So there'll be lots of Kyler Murray all year long. Huh? And the last one, Patrick K. There's Baker Mayfield. And Kyler Murray? No, Jazz Ferguson. And there you go. Thanks, guys. Thanks for getting to the break. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.